this is John Park in the Maker Shed. I'm trying to sneak up on the PIR motion sensor that I've created here using an Arduino and this PIR motion detector. Let me unplug this and explain how it works. This is the PIR sensor. It's a passive infrared module that can detect a difference between the background infrared radiation and anything moving in front of that. So that differential causes it to trigger the alarm. In this case, the difference between the ceiling, which isn't giving off much infrared heat, and my big head getting in front of it is enough to trigger the alarm. This makes it really good for projects where you don't want to detect motion using light. Let's say it's dark outside and you want to trigger a camera for when an animal goes in front of an area. Uh, it'll work great for that. It will not work for setting up a Gatling gun to shoot zombies, however, because they traditionally don't give off much heat, so don't do that. Now let's take a look at the individual parts and how we can put them together to build such an alarm. This is the PIR sensor. It has a pair of infrared elements underneath this Fresnel lens dome. If I flip it over, you'll see these are the three pins that we're going to plug into the Arduino and they're marked negative, positive, and out for the signal. Those are what's gonna plug into the board. I've also got an Arduino, breadboard, an LED, stacking header pin that makes it a little easier to plug this into the board. And I've also got a piezo buzzer and some jumper wire. I'm going to point out the connections that we're making here. We're going to run pin 2, this yellow signal line, over to 3 on the breadboard. And then I'm going to run a power off of the Arduino to pin 2 on the breadboard and ground to pin 1 on the breadboard. And this will correspond to those same pins that I've got plugged into the stacky headers on the PIR sensor. Plug that in and that's ready to go. I've got my LED plugged into ground and 13, and I have my piezo buzzer plugged into ground and pin 10. So that's the whole kit and caboodle when prototyped out. You could neaten this up if you're going to do something a little more permanent. And now I'm going to plug in my computer. I'm ready to upload the program from the Arduino software. Once it gets on there, it's going to do a little test of the uh, IR in the room get a baseline and once it's done checking things out it'll be ready to sense movement. This PIR sensor is really simple to work with in the Arduino software. The sketch I'm running is checking pin 2 to see if it's low or high. When the sensor senses motion that sends a high signal to the pin which I do a digital read on and then tell the piezo buzzer to buzz and turn on and blink the LED for good measure. You can download this sketch from the website. There we go. So that's how you can build a PIR motion sensing Arduino alarm system with some parts that you can pick up in the maker shed. And don't forget, you're not limited to an annoying piezo buzzer as the only effect. You could also hook this up to use a relay to drop something on someone's head or set it up for a fun Halloween prank. The sky's really the limit with these. I'll see you next time. This is John Park for the Maker Shed.